In this jaded world, hope has become underrated, to the point where most put it on a level with Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny, very nearly discarded altogether. All I can tell you is what I've seen of hope. There's an intense excitement that comes from its centering calm, a trust in the universe that makes you seek out the unknown. It's a very liberating thing. And well, at least within one of my fandoms, hope is making a comeback. As he's speaking our language, as he's burning down the rumor mill, James Gunn is giving DC fans something we haven't had in a long time. He's giving us hope. Near the end of last year, Gunn confirmed that announcements are coming. So today we will be going over a few educated guesses of what those announcements could possibly be. Courtesy of yours truly and a few close friends of mine. Before we get into that, let's take a moment to lament the DCU, its foundations, and what could have been. Before we even thought about compiling some personal lists, some logical guidelines were put in place. The first person I asked to make a list was Jason, who has been a lifelong cinema and Superman fan. And on a personal note, he's very much the Shazam to my Superman. As much as two people can be in real life anyway. He leaned into the fire of youth with his list. And that really surprised me. Between the two of us, only a few episodes of the fan favorite Static Shock cartoon was ever watched, and only a handful of comic issues featuring the character were read. I guess Jason sees what studio executives at WB have failed to see for a lifetime. DC's potential resides in every character in their pantheon. Not just Batman. Including a hip young character with a devoted following like Static is a great pick for the premiere chapter of the DCU. Jason also recognized that the Teen Titans have been in the public eye for so long now that they've had cartoons, games, toys and a live action show based on them. DC Studios would be leaving money on the table if they weren't somewhat of a priority for the silver screen. I've spoken about my old friend Michael before on this channel so I don't think he needs or would necessarily want a long intro. All I really want to say is I value his opinion based on a combination of his lifelong passion for these characters and because of his chosen field. Asking his opinion was a no-brainer. I just didn't know if he'd care enough to have one. Well, I'm pretty sure this vid will turn out better because he did. Michael's list doubles down on what fans consider big-name heroes when it comes to DC, and it offers the spotlight to some lesser-known heroes as well. Seemingly my old friend feels the time and creative is right to dust off the stink of the first attempt WB made at a shared universe for the DC characters. Which means the world to me because surely he knows how disgusted I was when things turned out that way for Green Lantern. In his own words. Green Lantern is a space odyssey which is writing Gunn's wheelhouse like Guardians. I mean imagine him writing a Hal, John, Kyle and Guy story. All I have to say is sign me up. When we spoke my old friend wasn't so sure that an official slate will be announced. Or even that it will be more than two films long. But in a hypothetical he offered up the question. Booster Gold or The Outsiders as a third, and I could see it being any of those as well. The question could be done on the cheap with a high box office reward if done right, which I'm sure is a goal for DC Studios. Introducing Booster Gold early on is an excellent idea to establish that continuity is being looked after. And, well, The Outsiders come directly from Batman so that would be a new and unique way to introduce him. I don't know how Jason or Michael came up with their lists so exceptionally fast. I must have overthought it. For me it wasn't merely enough to pick cool characters with cool powers or villains. After all I'm not a Sony Pictures executive. 
It's about character and story and how they affect not only each other but the wider world around them. In my mind Superman represents sci-fi space adventure, even when he's here on Earth. The space concepts of the DC Universe sort of flow off his cape in one way or another. Obviously Batman is the human experience mixed with being a superhero, albeit in absolute extremes. The vigilantism found in the cities of DC Comics are in one way shape or form inspired by the shadow he casts in Gotham. Wonder Woman is the magic of modern myth. She is the gateway to Mount Olympus and all that lies beyond. The only issues standing in the way of a Trinity movie slate if you can even call them issues are Matt Reeves the Batman being such a huge success and that Gal Gadot may be out as Wonder Woman. I don't think Gunn will be terribly anxious to introduce a new Batman and a new Wonder Woman right away. I don't even think he has to be. So in their potential stead I think both Green Arrow and Zatanna carry with them more than enough story potential to be strong parts of the DCU's first chapter. Believe me when I tell you there's a whole multiverse of possibilities for what the slate could be. Your guess is as good as mine.